Yo, my friends, how are you? I'm good. It's morning and I'm ready to review some pens with you that I got some time ago from Jack Pens, which is an American website that I've been stalking for a really long time because they have a really incredible variety of pens, pencil and every art supplies I normally would possibly need. First of all though, just before I forget and before we actually get into it, I want to show you something I got in the post. Uh, are you ready? Can you see? Oh my god! I got these keychains made and I've been waiting for them for a while. Sadly, they came from UK, so I got taxed a lot of money. With Brexit, has been really, really confusing at the moment because the brexit came out with no deal um, people are a bit confused how to handle business and for example now even if you live in europe if you order from uk you will get taxed a surprise amount of money when you receive the items which is super annoying to me because every supplier i ever built up to know is possibly UK based. Where I print my books or uh, where I print my prints is always been in the UK and now I can't order from them. Even for this, I get taxed a crazy amount of money, which is like 78 euros. I was about to cry, but it doesn't matter. I just got them anyway, uh, because it's my fault actually to not realize that the business was based in the UK. Uh, but yeah, look at them. This is made with clear acrylic, which is being recycled, not just previously used, but it was basically ready to be to become trash. So it's been salvaged and made into these keychains, which is something that makes me even feel better about having something made out of plastic. Also, I really love the look of plastic. So if I can get something made, which is still not creating new plastic, it just makes me happy to have it. This keychain is a keychain for comfy homes. And as you can see, I made it double face, so you can always see the illustration. Luckily, this illustration works on both ways, because sometimes when you flip a drawing, it looks really weird, but I'm really, really happy with it. I'm so happy. So I don't care about the tax I paid because it's been worth it. But next time, maybe I'll order from somewhere else, sadly, or hope by next time things will be sorted. And uh, actually, it makes me think now that soon I'm gonna be able to launch Mezzoluma shop again, but I'm a bit afraid of how we would work to, for people that order from UK, because things go both ways. So if people order from UK, I can't actually ship to them. First of all, because they will get taxed. But second of all, because I would have to be VIT registered to UK because it's not part of the European Union anymore. I think a lot of shops are having issue handling this. And at the moment, sadly, very sadly, I will have to just block the orders from UK, which is something that makes me really sad because I know a lot of you that order from there and you, I feel like I have a connection to UK but at the moment it's just this is the way it is. I, I really don't know how to handle it if not just taking a break and see how things will evolve. Just hope with me that these things will improve or be sorted as soon as possible. But now back to happy things. Let's go back to pens reviews. What I like about jet pens, I was saying, is that not just they have a huge variety of pens, not sponsored by the way, just in case you're wondering, I wish, um, is also that anytime I'm looking for information for a pen I never used before, because especially here in Cyprus, it's really hard to find variety. Buying a pen is not something that, okay, you can do it randomly, but 
before you try it you don't actually know if you like it and there are so many questions to be answered before you choose to buy it so jet pants answer to them all like in every listing things are so detailed not just everything basically everything is written everything you can possibly want to know the photos are incredibly detailed and also you can see the way the pen writes, you can see videos of it, you can see comparison to other similar pens, you can see um, per color of each pen, how water resistant it is, how highlighter resistant, how alcohol resistant it is. They're really, really good at giving you all the details you can possibly need because you can see that this website has been created by people that are passionate about this and they know what people will want to be knowing before purchasing something. For me, for example, it's very important that a pen is waterproof and maybe there is some similar pen I already tried, so see the comparison really helps. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. Anyway, I was waiting for you to be able to try this, so let's do it and I'll tell you everything about it. So let me take these things out. I don't have that many, but maybe it's better so I can be more detailed about it. So let's start from the one I'm very excited about, which is this. This is a fountain pen and I got it because it looks really cute, first of all. And I wanted a new pen that I can write with on my diary because I always find that when I write on my diary, I write too slow in comparison to how fast I would like because my thoughts go very, very fast and I thought maybe a fountain pen would be good for it and I got this one look at it buckles please oh good I feel like a beauty blogger mm -hmm. look at my lipstick I picked this color because I really like this shrimp color this is how I call it I call it shrimp and uh, even though it's so small when you open it you put this part on the back so it becomes longer so you can actually have a bit of a grip. And this brand has a lot of color and types. It's not just fountain pen, you can get also other type of pen with the same body. It's super light, which I like. I didn't notice how well it would match with my diary, I will show you later. I just got it because I like the color, but I didn't realize it would match so well. So this is the Kaweco pen. And this is my diary, which I got as a present. I mean, <laughs> I didn't realize, but these are not colors that I normally would pick, you know? But look, I mean, it's a shrimp bookmark. You know, well, I know this is not gold shrimp, but I'll call it gold shrimp for the purpose of this. This is also gold shrimp and everything works out perfectly. So one thing that I knew I wanted with a fountain pen was an ink that wasn't actually black. As you know, I use a monthly calendar, which is the one I shared with you, but on it, I can't use a black pen, but also I don't use a colored pen. I use a pen that I got from Muji, which is a pen that is erasable. I think the fact that it's erasable makes the ink be not very black. And I realized that the fact that this, the black of this pen is a bit off black makes me more relaxed when I use it. The calendar can be very busy, so when the black is too black, it looks too busy for, for me. And I realized that by using that pen, I, I just enjoy more reading. So I thought, why not try to get a pen which is not really black, but is gray instead. I never thought about it, but then I got obsessed with getting a gray pen instead. What I found for this fountain pen, because when you buy a fountain pen, it does have one ink, but you want to buy inks that go with it. And on the same website, I managed to find another, a different brand that makes inks which are compatible with this pen. And uh, I found Stone Grey, which is an off-black color. These are the cartridges. One, two, three, four, five. There are six in it. I already put one in the pen so we can try it. And I'll try to compare it against the black so we see how black this is. Okay, here we are in my most beautiful professional floor setting to try some pens with you. As I said, we're starting from this beautiful tiny shrimp from Kaweco Sport. 
and yeah it's super super light whoops <laughs> and you just you have to twist twist whatever he has a really pretty engraving on it which i really appreciate and uh, yeah let's try What a beautiful typography. I do like the fact that it's not fully black. Can you see? Especially now that I refocused. I'm gonna show you now the comparison to an actual black pen. Sometimes, you know, with filming colors it's not the easiest because you don't know how accurate it is. It could be the exposure of the camera and stuff. Let's try it now. One second. Okay, I've been trying compared to a black liner that I normally use to ink. If I didn't see the black, I would still assume this is black, which is what I wanted. It's just slightly more delicate less strong maybe it would be slightly clearer if i do like a big area wrong pen so this is the black so now you can totally see the difference like this is black and this is gray so i'm super super happy with this and i like how thin it is because this is for example 03 of an incliner and this is the new pen i got and for example, we can compare it to the Muji pen I was talking about before, because it's pretty thin. So, very, very good, very, very cute. Something else I bought, which are not actual pens, is some acrylic marker. Most of you may know that I use acrylic markers a lot, like Posca's, which are these ones. The only thing with Posca is that it doesn't have an incredible amount of shades. But I also acknowledge that the one I usually find in shop are always the same shade and then you could find more but it's just not easy to find. I managed to find some shade which I really liked but I never tried before and uh, it's these two. So I got this blue. It's a bit less light than you see it. Normally in Posca you find either sky blue or dark blue. And this one is good because it's kind of a, I would call it post sunset blue. It's a blue which is not towards green, it's more towards purplish. It's one of the blue I, I actually use on my digital illustration and I'm very excited about. And the tip of this Posca is quite thin. Um, there are different type of uh, tips in Poscas, but I thought because I, I was just gonna buy one to get one that I can be versatile with, and the same tip, I got it for this color, which I didn't even take out of the plastic yet. Let's do it. And this is uh, basically a color of red. And a color like this is something I wanted to use when I did this year Me My Muse, but I didn't have one, so I ended up using pure red, which I, I'm very happy with, but I was afraid it would be too dark. In the end, it's not. But I, I really like muted version of strong colors. So this is a coral and we'll try this together as well. They look amazing together. Again, my camera is not really professional setting, but uh, they are really pretty in person. And I got another acrylic marker, which is not um, the same brand, Juice Paint by Pilot. This is a very cobalt blue and I hope it's as cobalt as it looks. I got um, juice paint before, like a few months ago. They're pretty good. I, they have shades that I don't find in Posca's. The paint is slightly less consistent. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if you can hear cats screaming outside. Oh my God, I hate them so much. It's spring and they're gonna stress my soul for a few months now. Ugh. Anyway. What do they like about our house? I don't get it. Anyway, 
Let's try this beautiful Posca. Okay, something great about Posca is you can see the outside is absolutely identical to the color you actually get. So you can also be sure when you buy that if you like the color on the cap, you're gonna like the color on the inside. And um, yeah, it's perfect as usual. It's the color I wanted and the lines can be super thin. So yeah, I don't have anything to say. I'm always pleased. The second one is the coral. I didn't actually already activated it. Have you ever seen a new Posca? Look, it has a white tip, which I love so much. And you have to press it down for a while until the ink comes out. And managed. So this is the color now. And again, it's exactly as promised. It's identical to the outside and it's absolutely beautiful. I love them together and I can't wait to use them. Same thing goes with the Pentel one. It's new and it needs to be activated. Let's do it. Let's put it next to the other blue so we can compare. Well, I don't know in videos, but it's a bit brighter than you see in videos. It's like a dark blue. In the end, it's quite similar to the Posca one. And as you can see, this one is not 100% accurate to the outside because the outside looks brighter than it looks on the inside. It's still a beautiful blue. It's not as cobalt as I would like, but I would definitely get to use it, especially because together they look quite pretty. But in the end, it's very similar to the one I already had. But on the bright side, the tip of this marker is thinner than the one I had on Posca. So I'll probably find it easier to use this size of tip than the Posca one, because the Posca one I had was Let's say if this is this thin, the Posca one will be like this. So still good to have two different sizes. And I love the look of these juice paints though. They look so pretty. I have a set which is like uh, pastel colors and they're really, really cute. So this is for the colors. Then I got, um, how do you call this? Pen, no pencils, things, <laughs> whatever you put inside a mechanical pencil. And I got them in blue and red. I used to do this a lot in the past to pencil with colors that are not just gray of the pencil. The blue is really convenient because when you draw with the blue, it's super light. So it makes the inking even easier. And I think a lot of, no, I think, I know, a lot of comic artists use this primary blue because when you scan in black and white, the pencil is not gonna show in the scan because of the, this shade is made on purpose to basically disappear in a black and white scan. So this is convenient. And this one is just red because I like it. And sometimes, you know, like I use a red pen. So having a red pencil, will make it easier for me to ink with red afterwards without worrying that it's gonna mix up with the gray of the pencil. And I got in uh, this size in 05 because most of my mechanical pencils are 05 and I, find, I found it difficult to find different sizes in here. So I just, instead of getting a new pencil, I thought I would just get new this. Okay, so I put the blue tip on my normal pencil average and yeah so this is the color of the blue i got so it's kind of like sky blue which again is really good because it doesn't come out in scans but be careful if you just want to draw with this color because i remember the once when i was doing um, a project for a comic i did some pages over the summer but then I did the ink, ink them for a long time. And after a few months, I went back to the page and the page was gone, completely, fully gone because the heat and the light made this pencil disappear, which I guess is the point, but I didn't think it would totally disappear and it did. Okay, here's the red. So yeah, I mean, there is no surprise about this. They look good, they're very soft, and I'm definitely gonna use them. 
So, all good. Uh, uh, um, what else? Okay, to present you the next two items, I need to get something from the other room. One second. I'm back with a lot of pens inside a chestnut spread jar, which I love so much. Do you like chestnut spread? It's one of my favorite spreads in existence. The reason why I went to the other room is because these two last things I bought are cartridges from pens I have. When I was in Taiwan in 2018, I randomly got these kind of pens that I never seen before. They're called Juice Up by Pilot, this kind and I got them in red and blue, just thinking I was randomly spending money, even though they were really cheap there, knowing now I would have got every shade in existence. And these pens are made into two different thicknesses. This is 04, but they make even thinner than this. So I ended up using these pens so much that the cartridges obviously ran out this pen doesn't exist outside Asia, um, so before uh, Covid happened, I ordered some replacements that never arrived to me, I never even got refunded, but yeah, so once I was ordering from JetPens, I found they had some replacement for this and I got both a red and a blue one, so what is it? This is the red pen and it's already topped up so we can try it and this is a blue cartridge I don't know if it's interesting for you to see but you know like just to show them both and uh, they last quite a while and I use them so much so I like this and this is also waterproof which I love okay I want to show you this juice up I really like to be honest it's nothing shocking that you'll see on paper it's just a very beautiful thin pen which flows really well the red is really bright, the blue is a blue, <laughs> nothing shocking about it, but I really love drawing with it. It's just the way it flows, it's just the thickness, it's just a, a tip shape, I don't know, I really, really enjoyed it. Enjoy so much that I finish and order more, which is not something I do with every pen, I just really like it. Again, it's waterproof, it's just very easy to want to do details with. It's a bit hard to find, so it's not something I'm necessarily recommending you would go and look for, but I personally just really like drawing and writing with it. For a while I've been writing on my diary with the blue one as well. It's just overall something I will always go back and buy, because uh, just definitely entered my full-time pens that I will always go back to and use for my sketchbooks. See, sometimes buying random things for no reason pays off. And the second thing is uh, a bit of like um, detective work I've done. So a lot of you know about this pen from Moji. I've been introduced to this pen by my friend Fran, that you know as Fran Nerd, and many of you will know this pen because of her. Um, this pen is a really good pen that Muji sadly used to do before, and for some reason they discontinued it, and uh, there are so many posts on the internet of desperate people that don't know how to find replacement for their favorite pen, which is this one. And I really don't understand why they would discontinue it because it's really such a good pen and so many people use it, but they did discontinue it, I don't know why. I still have a functioning one, but uh, everybody was in the desperate research for uh, a replacement for this. And while I was looking at nibs, nibs? No nibs, replacement cartridges, I started looking into if there was any cartridge that would work with this actual pen because this pen is rechargeable so considering that pens like this one I got can function with cartridges that are not the same brand I thought maybe this one would be the same and uh, by searching I found out that there is this pen called 
slit sheet by Pentel that makes cartridges that technically fit into this. And I was really excited, first of all, because I like the shape of this pen, so I like the idea of being able to use at least the putty if the line will be the same with another kind of uh, cartridge. And second, again, my friend Fran was using this exact pen, Slitchy, that she found out to be the best replacement for this pen. So I thought that's perfect because I already know from her that this ink is really similar to this one and I can also use the replacement on this pen. I thought that's perfect. I saw that in any case, in jet pens, they don't have the slitchy pen, but they do have the cartridge. So I just ordered it, but there is a but. I don't know what I've done wrong. I think I've done something wrong. I don't know if slitchy makes different sizes of pens, but I got a cartridge which is freaking tiny and it must be not the normal average cartridge you normally get please look at this this is so freaking short and tiny what the hell like this is not an average size of a pen look at this one i showed you before and look at this one i mean this is not normal so sadly, even though the tip perfectly fits into it, this is way too short and there is no way I can use it with the pen I want. I wonder if I can just use it by itself, like a micro pen that I can bring on a trip or something, but this is very sad because I think I even got two and there is no pen that I can use in which this tiny thing fits. I even have a mini pen from Muji and it's still too long for this tiny thing. I don't know what I've done wrong, but I will try again in the future, just making sure I'm getting the full size and uh, I'll let you know about this one. So this one has been a semi-fail, but it's still worth understanding that these two work together, you just have to get the actual full size one that they don't have in jet pens, so just don't try there. Let's anyway give a try to a comparison between these two, because why not? I mean, I do have them. Let's see if they're as similar as I think. Let's compare this Muji pen, rest in peace, that everybody miss, 0.25 thickness, which is really over tiny <laughs> cartridge as well, about my mistake. As you can see, the tip seems the same thickness, almost identical. And you can see why this would easily fit in here. Let's try them out. So the reason why everybody seems to be loving this pen, if it is, please focus, please. It's really, really, really thin. It's super flowy. And it's really good for any of your etching necessities. And it's really black. It's just a really, really good pen. I love it. I love to write with it, I love to draw with it. And I think it's also waterproof, which again, yes, please. Now, let's try this tiny thing. That will be super awkward because I really don't know how to hold it. Ooh. Ooh, that's crazy. It's, it's basically the same pen. Ooh, it's identical. Look at it. Okay, this is awkward because I'm using it like sideways, but it works exactly, perfectly in the same exact way. I can even say that maybe this Lichy one is slightly flowier than the Muji one. Honestly, if you loved this pen, you need to take this one. To buy this one, maybe a cartridge, maybe the whole pen, up to you. Because obviously they have different shapes, so depending if you like more this shape or the slitchy shape, which I can't show you because I don't have one. But I'm so, 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 so impressed. It's incredible. It's perfect. Perfect! I'm so, so pleased. I need to find a way to use this. Maybe I'll wrap it in tape or something. What? I really like it. I don't know if it will dry out considering I don't have a cap. Um, I'll find a solution, but 10 on 10. Okay, then uh, this is all. I hope this was interesting. It was good for me. I'm really, really happy with 
everything I got. So I'm looking forward to use this more and more. And uh, I'll try to actually make an illustration with this as well. The only thing I would say about this that I'm not fully happy with is not because it is a pen's fault, it's my fault, because when you buy this fountain pen, you can get a lot of different kind of thicknesses and I got the thinnest one. So it's kind of normal that the thinnest one would be the hardest one to make income out of. It's not hard to make the income out of, but it's not super inky, right? So sometimes it's not as fast as I would like it to be, but it works, it works really, really well. I just need to keep it in mind for next time if I want to really write fast with it. Maybe I should pick one size up. Yeah, that is all. I don't know if this inspires you into getting some new pants. Um, I'm going to now tidy up this rug and possibly go to edit so you can get this video as soon as possible. Thank you all of my patrons for your incredible support because all these videos wouldn't exist if you didn't support me on Patreon because I would never feel pushed to create as much as I'm doing lately. Do you say from the bottom of my heart? I don't know why you would say that, but from my heart, thank you. Yeah. Ciao, have a nice day.